Well, shit. I went to release my parking brake and uh, yeah, this doesn't work anymore. Figure out how not to get stranded. Hey there and welcome to the One Brain Four Wheels channel. It's the Gear Bear here like always. And in today's video, it shouldn't be a surprise because you read the video title, but we're gonna be replacing the interior emergency brake release and cable setup. Um, so I bought this straight off of Amazon. Um, it's not like an AC Delco original, um, but it's close enough. Uh, you know, it looks pretty good to me. It looks solid. It looks like it's gonna do what it needs to do. And like I said, I bought it on Amazon from AA Ignition. And the best part was that this was half price of the AC Delco equivalent. So if it works, and that's going to be a great savings and if it sucks i'll go ahead and let you guys know so you don't buy it um but yeah it looks like it's going to be fine so anyhow today's video lineup is going to be me going ahead and showing you guys first how to go ahead and manually release your emergency brake um so just in case this thing breaks on you and you're at the grocery store or something your wife's you know off with the kids you don't want them stranded right um, so I'm going to show you guys there's actually a way to go ahead and release it manually even if that cable breaks. And then after that we're going to go ahead and dig into replacing this part. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so go ahead and follow me. So pretend we're walking to our car, we're having a great day, la di da di da And uh, we get in, we start it up, ready to release because our brake, you can see it's engaged. And god damn it, we're stranded. Ah, no we're not. So we're going to get down here. Sorry, I'm kind of shoved between cars here. And you're gonna see, I guess I can kind of show you guys what happened. So you can see this is floppy, right? It's because this cable broke. This cable isn't normally exposed. It actually goes up into this plastic in here. And then it's in this uh, black kind of uh, tunnel for it to travel back where the actual emergency brake mechanism is. And you guys can see it broke somewhere in there, probably just because of age, um, but it's broken. And now you kind of see you're stuck. So if we go back here, kind of follow it along. So this black cable is coming from this, running along. Wow, it's really dark in here. Let me get a flashlight. All right, let there be light. This is gonna be a little tricky because I only have two hands and they're both being used for things right now. So I'll try to point with the light here. But you can kind of see that cable. So it starts here and that black plastic tunnel where the cable runs underneath all this crap, kind of on the other side of this electrical box. And I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it travels all the way back into this corner. So here's your, sorry for the shitty camera angles, but there's your emergency brake. Let's follow it up. Get the light up in here. Let me see if I can kind of stick it in. There we go. You can see right here. You guys see my finger? That is the end of that black tunnel. So it wraps up underneath all this crap and then up to your release up here. So back over here, that is the end of the tunnel for your cable. Then your cable would extend down to this thing right here and there's like a little bell hook on the end that would slide up into here and hook. And this, when you're pulling your cable, you're actually pulling this metal bracket kind of up and towards the driver. Now, when I go ahead and do that with my hand, I'm gonna back up and my, my flashlight's probably gonna get kicked. But ready? Oh, there we go, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and just on this, you guys can't see it now, but I'm pulling up and towards the driver. And just like that, I manually released the emergency brake. So I know that camera angle and audio was horrible and I've since kind of jumped forward in time and now the project's done. But I wanna go back and just show you guys a little bit more clearly now that all the pieces are there, how to release the emergency brake manually. So coming on down, you guys can kind of see the handle right there for reference and move down here squeeze in. So there's the bracket you guys are going to be looking for and you're going to go ahead and put your hands on it and you can see the mechanism right now with it all intact with the cable how it would pull up. So you're going to go ahead and emulate that with your hands manually and just push up and it should knock our, I'm going to put my thumb on it actually and see how it's moving up. Go ahead and pull it all the way. Well, that was kind of cool. You guys went for a little ride. I didn't plan that. Um, but anyhow, yeah, so that is how you guys release the brake manually. Um, so anyhow, let's go ahead now and jump into replacing the parking brake release. So step number one, let's go ahead and use a 10 millimeter socket. And we're gonna go ahead and come up and under the, um, the parking brake release here. So there's the parking brake release. If we go ahead and come up and under there, you'll see a 10 millimeter bolt right there. Go ahead and remove that, and this whole thing will uh, go ahead and it, it'll kind of like drop down. There's a little hook on this side that kind of slides up 
to give it support on this side so it doesn't rock around. So when you pull that bolt out, go ahead and slide this to the left and then pull it down and that'll come right down. And when you drop that, you'll go ahead and drop this cable down. However, it'll still be attached up here. So there is the, um, the bracket that we just used to manually release the brake. However, if we come up a little higher, you'll actually see the bracket where the, uh, the guide for the wire um, actually connects in, which is right up here. Let's see if I can prop my flashlight. Perfect. This right here, that is the bracket that the guide, or what I was calling the wire tunnel, is attached to. So you can go ahead and use some needle nose pliers to pull that out. And I'll actually go ahead and show you guys how to do that uh, release um, from that bracket style, because the same one is used holding on the other end of the wire um, tunnel thing, as I keep calling it, um, into the back of the release handle. Um, because I am deciding, I'm going to go ahead and use the um, factory original one as opposed to um, using the one that came with the kit that I bought because it just doesn't look quite as nice, the finish isn't as nice. Um, totally usable, um, but I want to go ahead and keep the factory one like I did here. So let's go ahead and jump into that part now. So while doing this project, I was kind of looking at this new uh, emergency brake release and I kind of decided, you know what, I just don't like the way uh, this front kind of feels a little bit more matte finish than the original one. I, I know that's kind of stupid because really like you're never going to notice this, but I'm going to know that it's different and it's just, I'm kind of OCD like that. And I was kind of looking at it and also it's kind of an extra little project on the side. Uh, so it's actually not that hard, I think, to go ahead and keep my existing handle while replacing the rest of this cable. So what we're actually going to do is my plan is to keep my existing uh, little, the, the release here handle, as well as its bracket. So what I need to do is go ahead and take from this new piece, I'm gonna use it as the donor for the cable, this little tube thing. And I need to go ahead and first release the tube from the bracket of the actual handle, as well as release the cable from the handle. Releasing the cable from the handle seems simple enough. If we kind of zoom in here, you'll see that the, the cable kind of, uh, goes into this groove here on the plastic of the handle but if we tilt the handle sideways i don't know if it'll focus or not but see how you can see the reflection there there's actually a cutout in the handle um where if you kind of slide the wire up enough you'll actually be able to slide the wire out to the side and release the handle so i'm gonna see if i can kind of prop this camera here on i'm using our our garage washer um, as a table but if I can kind of position this a little better, I can maybe can do this and show you guys how I'm doing it. So I'm not sure how well this is gonna come up, but I'm trying to go ahead and do this, um, actually showing you guys on camera. So if you guys can see where we're kind of on here on the, on the handle. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the handle in enough and simultaneously slide the, the wire up to that cutout groove. And now if I can go ahead and pull the wire forward enough and slide it up, I don't know if you guys can kind of see that. Can you guys see? There you go. See the cutout right there? If I can tilt the handle up enough, I can slide that wire forward and out, hopefully. It's kind of awkward doing Oh, there we go. I think we're getting it. You guys, it's, it's so dark in there. That's the problem. Oh, and it slid out. Do you guys see that? We have the wire release now. All right, the last thing we need to do to go ahead and release the cable from our donor uh, handle is to go ahead and remove the, um, let me get some better light, remove the, the black plastic tunnel, what I'm calling it, from this bracket. So if we kind of, there we go, now you guys can see. You can see that they kind of stuck it through the hole in the bracket and it's got those little like butterflying out uh, kind of winglets that hold it into place. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some needle nose pliers to go ahead and get in there, squish those little winglets down and then it should be able to push right out. All right, so here we are with our donor handle bracket. I'm gonna go ahead and use the needle nose pliers here to push in on those little winglets and then should just be able to push that right out just like that perfect now if i can get that out there we go being stubborn 
So now we have successfully released our um, our brand new handle from our new wire and little wire uh, guide tunnel thing. So now we can go ahead and put this aside and use our new wire with our existing handle. And that way we'll really have a factory look and finish. Um, really nothing that you'll be touching won't be from the factory. Which like I said before, this is totally optional. Uh, most people would not care about a different handle being used. But it's one of those things that would really just kind of irk me because I know about it. I know it's different. Um, and you know, this way I still get the factory original part, but I was able to save money because I bought the cheap one just to get um, an aftermarket wire essentially. So yeah, at this point we're almost done with this project. Um, all you need to do now, whether you're just using um, your part as it came in or if you swapped in the handle uh, with the original one like I did, we're all doing the same thing at this point now. Uh, so we wanna go ahead and take our whole assembly into the car and we're gonna go ahead and first at the very end, a little bell-shaped um, connector that hooks into the actual metal mechanism for releasing the parking brake. You're going to want to go ahead and slide that in and hook it into that. Then we're going to go ahead and slide up the metal um, wire up into the retainer where the black, um, what I was calling the wire tunnel, where that starts towards the back of the, um, of the whole mechanism and you're going to want to click that into place, then go ahead and run your, um, your wire and plastic kind of around all the stuff that's up underneath the uh, dashboard. And lastly, go ahead and slide in your handle um, bracket, uh, slide it in where it has that little clip that kind of sticks up and holds the passenger side of the handle firm. Go ahead and slide that in and then re-bolt your 10 millimeter uh, bolt. And at that point, everything will be good. So let's go ahead and just look at it one more time in the car, and then we'll call this project a success. So yeah, the first thing I did was slide in that bell end into the side of this bracket here, which we, it's the same bracket we were using to manually release the emergency brake. Slide it into the side and then push the cable up so it's pointing up. Then coming up here is the beginning of the wire tunnel. Go ahead and slide it in. There's a hole in the side where the wire can go, a little cutout and then go ahead and push in this uh, connector. It's just like the connector that's on the end of the, um, the release handle bracket. Uh, so it's like a little, got little butterflying uh, clips on the side. Go ahead and click it into place. It's nice and firm. Then that plastic tunnel for the wire is gonna slide around this black plastic piece, come all the way around up to here, and there's our handle. And all we gotta do is slide our handle uh, remember, it's got that clip on the end I already talked about. Uh, so go ahead and stick it up and slide it to the passenger this time to reinstall it. And then install your 10 millimeter bolt. And then that's it. Job done. So yeah, I hope you guys found that video helpful. I would really feel bad if someone was stranded because they didn't know how to manually release their emergency brake. And it really is, this is a super simple project and super cheap to take care of on your own. So there's no need to get a mechanic involved. Um, anyone, you know, a soccer mom, uh, someone who's mechanically inclined, anyone can do this. Um, it really, it doesn't take a lot of skill. Um, although it could be maybe a little bit, um, a little something that you might be nervous about, but it's really, it's nothing. Um, so definitely, I hope that a lot of people can watch this video and get some help from it. So anyhow, if you guys like the video, please give it a big thumbs up, press that like button below. Um, I would really appreciate it. It'll help get this, uh, the video uh, out there and get more views and help more people. And if you wanna see more videos of me doing more things with all of the cars, the Suburban, the Eldorado, the Corvette, um, then please subscribe to the channel One Brain Four Wheels. And until next time, guys, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. See you next time.